Nursing homes provide full-time and professional care for people who, who are unable to function independently due to age, illness or disability. This includes dependents experiencing chronic somatic or mental illnesses, elderly people in need of professional assistance, or people with addictions. Besides structural problems, care workers have to cope with various psycho psychosocial risks in their work, such as professional burnout, stress, but also violence by clients. The experts of the HEROS study examined the main health and safety challenges in this group across Europe. Uh, our study reveals that social care workers are exposed to both uh, high physical and psychosocial risks actually in all analyzed countries and despite some national differences. And the main challenge in the identified is a very high workload. This workload is actually determined by insufficient number of staff and also to some sector-specific conditions like lifting heavy workloads, uh, loan working, uh, violence from patients, mobbing and some other. Due to unfavorable working conditions, social care workers often suffer from fatigue, from professional burnout, from physical health problems and uh, this again increases staff turnover and increases problem of lack of personnel and in some cases lack of appropriate competences in the sector. And the challenges I identified are even more aggravated by rapidly aging uh, personnel and in some countries like Lithuania or Poland even by very low salaries uh, that receive uh, social care workers, long working hours and also often unfair working time recordings. Due to many reasons, nursing homes were pockets of infections during the COVID-19 pandemic. This posed a contagion threat for the care workers themselves and made difficult caring for infected dependents. The pandemic brought a spotlight not only on the hard work and the health risk of care workers, but on the care sector in general. We have seen how care and care workers, particularly for the elderly, are a crucial and sensitive aspect of our contemporary society. Here, health and safety is not easy to regulate and the place of work can vary from residential homes to private households for the patients. So health and safety in the care sector, even more than in other sectors, is seen as a cost that should be reduced to a minimum lack of protective equipment, but also lack of training, staff shortages, long hours, make for a risky situation and weary jobs. And this remains a challenge even after the pandemic. Better conditions of work can be obtained with good collective bargaining. But in the care sector, good collective bargaining and strong coverage are not easy because of the varied nature of the care providers. Some are private, some are semi-private, you have social cooperatives, and you have religious organisations, and this makes for a fragmented landscape of collective bargaining. So there needs to be a strong centralised recognition of the importance of the sector and investments to reverse the race to the bottom of social care provision. Challenges related to the pandemic, psychosocial risks, and also structural issues experienced by care workers in social services were a subject of social dialogue at both national and the EU level. More details on the results of the discussions between social partners you will find in the HEROS study reports.